morning, good afternoon, good evening, my wild and crazy golden year friends. Thank you for joining me. It is I, Lala, and today we are going to discuss summer. Summer is here. It's very important that we have been sunscreening our self-protection all winter long as well, but it's more so in the summer because there's so much more uh, outside activities and you need to be able to apply it a lot. So I, my favorite, had, has been for the last couple of years is this Blue Lizard 50 SPF. It's water resistant, five fluid ounces, so it's not very much in here. And it's like about $15. So I go through these a lot. So I thought, you know what? I'm, I don't have any allerg allergies to um, chemical sunscreen, but uh, my body needs so much more. You need like a fluid ounce, which is like a shot glass, not the tall shot glass, but a shot glass full all over your body. And if you're gonna be out in the sun for a long time, you're gonna to have to do another shot glass with you. And it would, I wouldn't recommend this as a shot glass you drink out of if you're actually going to measure because it could be nasty if you pick up the wrong one. So just a thought. So I have decided to try some chemical sunscreens that are actually very gentle and hydrating because you want a sunscreen that you're gonna to wanna to put on. So it's a good idea to use a sunscreen lotion. So this one I have found, dermatologist recommended. It's a Vino Hydrate and Protect Sunscreen. And it has uh, the broad spectrum sunscreen of 60 SPF, has its oxybenzone free, sweat and water resistant. And it comes in a 12 fluid ounces. And I believe this one cost, it was $27. Um, at Walmart, but it's a lot in it and it will last you a long time. So that's why, you know, this at uh, five fluid ounces for $15 and this for 12 fluid ounces for 27, this will last you longer. You will lather it on, you will get a shot glass. You'll get used to filling up your palm, uh, what an ounce size is, and then just put that all over your body in the morning before you dress and let it set for 15 minutes or so before you go outside. So the more protection, the better. So this is my first, and I really love the feel of it, and I have not burnt. Now my second choice, this is a sunscreen by Equate. This is at Wally World. It's SPF 50, dries clear, ultra light, broad spectrum SPF 50, water resistant, it's got no oxybenzone and no oxytonate. And it is an eight fluid ounce, was five dollars and forty eight cents. Now this one, shake them up good. Has a slight smell. It's a little thicker, but it's not greasy. So I'm gonna put it on. I like a lot of sun protection on my arms, and I've used this one as well. But I just wanted to show you how it goes on. I like fresh scent. It's not overpowering. If you don't like scents, you, I'm, I'm sure all of these come with a fragrance free. Four ounces less than this one, but it's 548. All right, then another favorite if you want even more fufu. I tr I'm trying the Hawaiian Tropic Weightless Hydration, 12 hour moisturization, 50 SPF, and it is water resistant. None of these sunscreen have the oxybenzone or the oxino oxinate. Anyway, so this Hawaiian Tropic Weightless smells like heaven. Mm. So it's really mild though, because I don't like the heavy overbearing, but this is, this is very nice, and this goes on like heaven. But now cost-wise, it's six fluid ounces for 10.97. So, so far, it's looking cost-wise because you, as I said, you want a sunscreen that you're going to use, you can afford to use. So far, it's this is the best buy. Okay, that's the body. Those are the three I'm trying, and I'll let you know. Same thing with the face. Now, I'm I stick with usually mineral sunscreens for the face because I use retinoid exfoliation, chemical exfoliation on my faces. So I think on my faces, on my face. So I try not to add any more chemicals, but. Neutrogena has this Invisible Defense Face Serum, 60 uh, plus. You need like three finger on your face. So that's like a teaspoon size on your face. I'll go ahead and add it. Why not? Don't want to waste it. And, uh, and to add that much, you're going to have some 
you're going to have some grief. You know, it's going to feel like that. So again, this is all applied under makeup, but this replaces serums as well. So if you use any serums in the morning, you can like just get away with this. So, and I press all my stuff in. I press it in because at aging skin needs to be forced to take in <laughs> all the protectant we can get. Don't forget your ears, especially if you have short hair, and the back of your neck. So, yeah, that's a little bit um, heavier than what I like. That's why I've only I've used this um, because it's 60 plus when we go camping. As on a normal day, I use Elta MD. I've told you before, it's tinted UV clear SPF 46, broad spectrum. Now, the only bad thing about some of these mineral sunscreens is they are not water resistant. There is a way to get around that. And this is by Color Science Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen, and it's a powder, a light powder that could be applied over your makeup all day. Just, oh, it's coming out now. Anyway. So you would apply it like this on your eye, you know. So then you're getting, you're able to reapply without uh, messing up your makeup. And then Super Goop makes one. I'll show you a picture of it. I have one somewhere around here. And it's, this one's like a medium, very light tint. And the Super Goop has no color in it so that you don't change what your makeup. And I don't have any makeup on yet. I just have the sunscreens. Okay. So that will take away... Uh, any grease. Can you use it by itself? I, I imagine you can. It's just always good, especially I'm working so hard with the retinoids and um, the procedures, the IPL and the laser, to get my skin to its optimal condition that I want to double protect it. But a lot of people too are, have time constraints. I've gotten in such a routine that yes, I can, I skip my makeup a lot and just use my um, my two favorite. This is CeraVe Hydrating Tinted Mineral Sun Sunscreen 30. It goes on beautifully. And I use I use a dry sponge for uh, my creams. And that just makes sure I get them on in every place. Rather the fingers kind of smear. I like to I like to force in. So I've also decided because see I I have chronic dry eyes, so my eyes when I uh, water them, <laughs> I use uh, eye drops so much that it gets down here and I actually had a, I think it was on this side, a precancerous right under my eye and, and the doctor believes it's because I, I'm not using a waterproof proof, proof, proof sunscreen under there. I had to try, it's an Elta MD product, here's a picture of it, it hasn't arrived yet and it's water resistant up to 40, 40, 40 minutes, the same price as this one and I'll see if the texture, everything, how it goes under my makeup is just as lovely as this. Now let's get on to the clothing. Now you want to wear, you want to wear your sunscreen and then you want to have a big hat, a big rimmed hat and one that will go down and cover down here. Let's wear these shirts. The, I have several of these shirts. We take them camping. You can dip them in the water and rinse them out and put them on if it's hot and they dry quickly. And they're UV, UVA, UVB protectant. And then they have the pants of the same. And I have some pants like that, and then I can zip off at the knees. But I really try to keep covered up for the majority. So uh, I just am not a sun goddess where I set out in anymore. I will find a nice shady tree. We have a lot of trees around here, and I will go out, and I can wear my swimming suit then. I'm still sunscreened because I'm going to get up and run around, and I, that sun will be there. But if you can just get in a good routine where you have one that's going to go on super nice, and is inexpensive so that you can reapply, especially during these hot months. And you can still run in the water and go swimming. You want to enjoy summer. You want to go camping. You want to go skiing. You want to do all of those things. So the first, the first and foremost is to lather your body with a water-resistant sunscreen and reapply. And then just get out, take breaks, and get out of the sun. And if I could teach anyone, as I said, from the young on up, start wearing it as a habit. They've, there's so many beautiful ones now. I'm going to do a new segment on my yays and nays of products that I've used that I uh, love and that I don't love. And then I'll show you the new products that I will be using for the next month. And if you have suggestions, please give me suggestions on products you use or products you're interested in using. And I'll do the best I can to get them. Now, so I really try to find uh, budget-friendly 
uh, makeup, all of it. And I'm going to go over that, the makeup in the a a here, some of the favorite ones that I've found and not so favorite. I've listed all the products in the description below. I'll see you next week when we go over the a and A's and we'll have some new products to try out. Give me suggestions what you would like to see. I would love to. I would love to bring them to you. All right. Again, be wild and crazy, but don't step in anything squishy.